Everybody take a really hard look at what's happening in Israel. Because that's exactly what's about to happen here. But see, it can't happen in our country the way that it just happened in Israel. That fast. That rapid. The reason it can't happen like that is because of our beloved Second Amendment. But make no mistake, it's going to happen. And it's probably going to happen faster than we realize. Because this shit with Israel has just started a whole new shit show. World War III has just went hot. Shalom, shalom, Mr. Brother Azana Moth back at you with another lesson. Pray this lesson is edifying to the lambs. And double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who do but well. Peace and salutations to all you Akim and few Aqua that are listening. So what are you Americans going to do when this comes to the shores of America? Okay, what are you people going to do? When this comes to Babylon the Great, all right? This is um, what you're seeing on the screen. It's a precursor to what's coming, all right, when World War III jumps off. And this is, you know, we look forward to this. You know, to the average person, this is terrifying. But through prophecy, we see things happening. So this is the beginning of many sorrows to come, all right? Just off the top. All right, lesson uh, Ezekiel 28 and 23, it says, For I will send into her pestilence and blood into her streets, and the wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So you got to understand what we're seeing and what's happening. This is from the hand of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Nothing happens, okay, in this world without the authorization of the Heavenly Father, okay? He creates life and he brings death. And we just read that he will send into her pestilences. So the slain of the Lord's hand is many, okay? And when we go into that word pestilence, it refers to warfare, and when that warhead hits its target, you can see missiles flying back and forth between these two countries. It distributes an accelerated charge of impact. And in return, all right, the blood is poured out to the streets. Just like we read in the book of Ezekiel, the 28th chapter. See, this is by the hand of the Lord, man. All right. They said, um, they said something like, it was 267 bodies that were piled up at that function up in the desert, okay, where they was flying down in uh, parachutes, okay? What happened when they landed? And they was raping. They got to kidnapping, all right? And they ultimately killed them, 267 and adding. So you know that Iran... Is supporting Hamas in this thing. This, this, they ain't doing this by themselves. Okay? Because Hamas hates to use. We're going to say use. You know, if you can pick up what I'm putting down. They can't stand them. They hate them. They want to see bloodshed. All right? And what did the Lord say in Isaiah 47? He said, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, the shame shall be seen. And we're seeing it happen, brothers. Okay, we've seen it happen. This family right here that they're showing, all right, they came in their house, kicked in the door, and killed the mother, the father, and the two children, and the like the little infant, man. So the Lord kills old people, and he kills the young. So the Lord spares none. And why is this happening? How long can you cover up a lie until the truth is declared? Okay? Because uh, because we know through replacing theology 
in a corrupt political system of these elites that run this country, that run the world. And these government officials that they so-called established the state of Israel May 14th in 1948, all right, by the Balfour Declaration. Y'all got to read up on this, man. All these things were happening for a reason, all right? Just like the scriptures say, there was war up in heaven, okay? All right? And these leaders, Benjamin and Thahu, all right, hey, he's in bed with the United States, getting billions, okay? Now, going back to that Balfour Declaration, I want to go a little deeper into that because you had, uh, what's that, uh, Arthur Balfour and you had Lionel Rothschild. They both got together along with Harry Truman. Okay, Truman was there too. That, that same devil that bombed Japan, right? He had Oppenheimer build, all right, that uh, atomic bomb, okay? And he authorized it to fall on Japan. So he supports the U.S. state. Now look at this. We halfway to the year, almost in 2024, and the Lord has brought judgment by the sword. All right? Because this so-called Middle East, okay, so-called Middle East, it's all built on lies. It's all built on lies. All right? And hasn't Israel and America whacked strong off the seat? What's that, Sirach 10? All right, let's get that. All right? They've whacked strong off the seat. This is Sirach 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, riches gotten by deceit. America is wealthy, it's rich. They've been supporting Israel for decades, trying to keep this lie going. This administration must also make clear that harming any American will result in the wrath of the United States. You see that? So he has no clue of what's going on, right? And that's America for you right there, pompous. The wrath of America. Okay? Hey, the scriptures say America is going to fall. It's going to reel to and fro. So these riches have been gotten by deceit. So the Lord Yahweh, all right, he ain't sparing none. The casualties are from the babies to old men. Okay? Because this city is full of blood. In these two cities... Okay, you got Gaza in there, Ashkelon. These people are in the land of Israel. They're in our land. So the Lord is sending blood to this whole area. Let's get Nahum 3 and 1. It says, Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. That's right, the prey departeth not. These prophecies is speaking and things are moving so fast. Even Lebanon Okay, Lebanon is even catching hell from the warfare in Israel. And we got to keep in mind that there's an election coming right here in the United States. What does that mean? Okay, what does that mean? That means many chess pieces will be shifted. All right. See, this ain't no accident, man. This just didn't happen overnight. The Lord is exploiting the beast in America and these European unions and these, hey, they've gotten rich, man. All right. And don't you know that war brings wealth along with other things, the death and the calamities. And, but this is all political, man. You have many entities that are capitalizing from the conflict over there for sure. Because the power is what? It's in their hands, right? This is Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise inequity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of their hand. This is a serious threat for the United States because they cut off the water out there shut down the fuel pumps, bombed hospitals and, you know, medical centers. So many people are benefiting off this warfare. 
Many favors are being exchanged right now. All right? The wicked is getting rich, man. Micah 2 and 2, it says, And they covet fields, and they take them by violence, and houses, and they take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. All right? So the tears is going to flow. This is prophetic. All right? Hamas is not doing this on their own. There's a significant amount of underhand deals going on. Okay? So we can't just 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 look at you know the warfare and the missiles flying and people dying and buildings crashing. We got to look into the background of the operation what's going on, man. Okay? On what's really going on out here? Who is profiting? Okay, and assets from this. Who was responsible for those train derailment? Those trains was derailing back to back to back all over the country. They even put it in a movie to mock you. And you had uh, warehouses blowing up. Chicken coops blowing up. Okay, just exploding. Who benefited from that? BlackRock did. Vanguard did. All right. Those weren't isolated accidents. Because what you're seeing in Israel, BlackRock and Vanguard are funding both sides. And America sent, what was that, $6 billion in sanctioned funds? All right. $6 billion in sanctioned funds to Iran and Iran is supporting Hamas so put the puzzle pieces together what's really going on man okay America is supporting both sides just as well America has blood on their hands right while China and Russia are sitting back licking their chops and hopes for America to assist Israel because America is allies with Taiwan. So if America is mixed up in Israel, that leaves what? Taiwan vulnerable. Y'all see what's really going on over here? You see what's going on? This is an operation, man. And in the midst of this, that dude was just speaking, that Edomite, okay, the House Speaker just got taken down. He got voted out, and a couple days later, the war starts. Which means if you don't have a house speaker, they won't be able to come to any agreements unless you have a house speaker. All right, let's get this. <laughs> All right? Because the Lord said this was going to happen. This is the beginning of sorrows, man. All right, this is Ezekiel 36 and 5. It says, Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. And against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for prey. So this death toll is going to continue to rise because you inhabited the land that's not yours. The Lord said, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and you have appointed his land with joy in your heart. Okay, this is why the Lord is allowing all this to happen. The capacity of some of these militant groups like um, Al Qaeda, all right, and ISIS, that specialize in war tactics, conflict. Okay, they want blood, they want atrocities. And us, we have a position to play in this as well. We report this to you, we're being the watchmen. All right, focusing on prophecy, which depicts how the future is declared. All right, and this war in Israel directly contradicts the people occupying the land momentarily. They don't belong there. They don't belong there. You got men like Amari Stoudemire, okay? Well, brothers, <laughs> you did a couple videos on them. Hey, but you're supposed to. Okay, speaking on the behalf of the heathen. He hasn't a clue what's going on. He hasn't came to terms 
with death yet. Death occurs, man. And thus saith the Lord, when his people return to the land of Israel, okay, our land, the scriptures say there wouldn't be any violence. So to Mari Stoudemire, you need to get your shit together, man. You need you lost in the sauce. Okay? The Lord said when his people return to his land, there should be no violence. So according to the scriptures, no violence will be in the land of Israel. So what's the explanation for a war right now? How can you reconcile this? If they're the people of the promise, right? Because it's all propaganda and America is in bed with Israel for power, all right, and corruption. That Gaza Strip, you know, the Gaza Strip only is threatened with conflict. Most, if not all, the land over there from the Gaza Strip, which is next to Ashkelon and Ashdod, okay, and what's Zechariah 9 say? It says a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. The Lord wouldn't say that about his own people. Okay, he's referring to the residue of the heathen. And these cities are next to Jerusalem. And in the ancient days, okay, if you look at a map, that's where the kingdom of Israel is. That's where the kingdom of Judah is. All right, when you go into the book of Judges, it goes into Judah occupying that area. All right, now we can prove it. Let's prove it. This is Judges 1 and 18. Also, Judah took Gaza with the coast of thereof, Eshkelon with the coast thereof, and Ekron with the coast thereof. So Judah took these places. All right? And we're going to take it again. Whether you like it, believe it or not, prophecy says the Lord's people would dwell in Babylon. He's going to bring us back into the land of milk and honey. This is why all this conflict is going on because the Lord is lifting up the skirt of the heathen. All right? And you know damn well Esau, Edom eventually is going to get involved in this thing. All right? Because the fragile global economic system that's being exposed right now with this warfare. You got the Suez Canal, all right? That's right in the middle of the Red Sea. What you think they're doing with that? illegal trafficking and the scriptures say they've got rich off of traffic and see this is why judgments are sent from the Lord because he's about to justify the 12 tribes of Israel his people his people and this is just the beginning of woes it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better all right and when it gets better the Lord's going to gather up Zion all right, that great monument that he said that we are. And he's going to set us up as we should be. All right, let's get Ezekiel 28 and 25. It says, Thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered. All right, we're a scattered people. It says, And shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen. Then shall they dwell in their land that I have given my servant Jacob. The Lord didn't give the heathen his land. This is why all this war and conflict continues to happen. It's been war going on between Palestine and Israel. I mean, damn near forever, man. You see? Ezekiel 28 and 25. This hasn't happened yet. This is a future prophecy. All right? And a promise that we're going to dwell in safety. Safety. Because it's obvious the Lord. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Alright. He hasn't came back yet. The clouds have not been cracked yet. Alright. It's a current war going on in Israel as we speak. They're not dwelling in safety. We're going to dwell in safety. Does this look safe to you? Okay. Missiles flying. Alright. Babies dying. No, it's not safe. Next verse. And they shall dwell safely therein and shall build houses and plant vineyards. Yeah, 
they should dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them and they shall know that I am the Lord their God all right the Lord their God you see that's personal that's the, hey the most high is showing the world that he is the God of the Israelites you see and this is why they hate the prophets so much because we're reading out this book and we're giving it to you just how it is these prophecies are coming to pass okay so again, how do you reconcile this war right now? All right? If these are the people of the Bible. You can't because there's no uh, symmetrical situation that will come out of this. And you better believe there's going to be new anti-Semitism, okay, laws and, all right, uh, uh, contracts that's going to come out of this. Okay? Look for that to be on the rise. And I speak as a man, but these fucking devils, man. Hey, the Lord got you in a trick bag. All right? The most high's course is taking place. You see beheadings, <laughs> bodies of babies buried alive. This ain't no joke, man. This ain't no joke. And this conflict might go on for a year or two. We don't know. But we do know this is by the hand of Yahweh Bashim Shai, who said what? He said he's going to put them in graves. Who said what? He's going to take their souls from them. All right? Baruch 2 and 17 says, all right, let's just get it. All right, let's get it. It says, open thy eyes and behold for the dead that are in their graves, whose souls are taken from their bodies. All right. So it's going to be more of this. It's going to be more mass death coming out of this, man. So we're ready for you to bring the Karagma. So we can get the hell up out of here. All right. We can get the hell up out of here. We need that third world to come to pass. World War Three. And then look up for your salvation. When you have a shy is coming to get his elect. And with that, I give all honor and glory. To my heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahaha Kadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Mr. Brother Azan Amar, Shalom.